Hello everyone, my name is Masayuki Hoshi. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to apply the optical rays color to the gradier materials internally, externally. After you apply is a gradier, it's a uh, vicious dentin and also dentin, I will suggest you it's a make a tooth canvas. Like a regular, uh, when you uh, go outside and uh, make a, a, a drawing the picture with uh, oil paint or water paint, it's the same like a canvas. It, uh, we, uh, I like to have two canvas. Then continue if you decided to use, you don't need to any apply clear, just only color only. Then so any color you want. Oh, I like to have more a little bit of orange uh, uh, A shade, A uh, uh, plus shade, and shake well. Then dropped A shade or B shade or C shade color first. Then if you want, it's a gray color. Shake well. Then ivory. Then blue. So now is I will do internal stains. First, if you want to, it's a little bit darker here internally. This time is a shade. Then just paint it on. You like it? This time is just 10 seconds. Light cure it. Just temporarily cure it. Not complete, the like half cure. Then next, if we want to marmalade internally, this time exactly the same way, just paint it on. Then, if you want to blue effect in the corner, just paint it on like a, a oil paint or a water paint. I like to use a white. Just a little bit halo effect. Don't too much. Any effect, if we want to internally, you can create it with opticalized colors. Very easy to create this, those uh, color. Then after that, before you apply is the enamel layer top of that, I like to you to cure. After five minutes light cure, this is actually come with, come from, uh, this is after, uh, after uh, light cure for internal stains. Then return to model. Then now we decided which enamel layer top of the this crumbs. So first, this target shade is a3. But my crown touch darker than target shade A3. Then so I pick lighter enamel E1 to top of the disc crumbs. Then I picked an enamel E1 lighter enamel. Then pick it up the very thin layer. Covered then creating a final shade shape. In our more you pick apply it and making a final shape. As you can see, automatically very close color as a shade guide then you can see some color internally after applied in the enamel e then make all shape as uh, in, uh, you apply the finished applications enamel applications then took off the crown from marrow then you fix it at the land margins and uh, and also the contact area, just a little bit 
uh, added to it. Then, uh, ready to final cure. Before final cure, make sure I like to you to use is a uh, air barrier to apply it all over. Then final cure three minutes with GC Love Light. Then removed uh, air barrier with brush and water. Then reshape it it's in a shape and a contouring. After contouring, crown came out like this. Then next is a ready to final stains. Then so I applied in the very thin layer of the clear first. Then try to match a three shade guide, like a with a shade guide. Then so if if you need more add some colors, this time I will pick is any color you want from uh, optic rays color. Then for example, I like to use a B or whatever color. Before use, please check well. Then paint it on and try to match color like a shade guide. Then if we if we want freeze the color, just temporary not permanent, then apply with a thin coat of the clear. I always do thin thin coat of clear all over thin layers. Then final cure is five minutes. This is the final after final final cures, five minutes. That's all completely cured. Then you can get nice color.